Hi guys, Sandy here and welcome back to my channel and today we'll be continuing some ACE reactions. Um, now I'm going to be doing ACE star, 5 star live video. I believe it has captions because when I click the caption thing I saw it come up so I'm just going to watch that. And then Don't Let Me Down which is like a mini like outro type thing. I didn't see any lyrics for that but I'm, maybe it's just an instrumental I'm not sure. And then um, First Love, Someone, <laughs> I forgot the name, Someone. Featuring Chan Jun and Dong Hoon, I believe, from Ace. I saw a video, but there weren't any lyrics, so I will do the lyric video first and then that. So I'm just gonna jump right into it now. Star, five star. I'm not sure. Oh god, they're gonna sit down. Oh god, it's gonna be vocals. It's gonna be vocals. <laughs> Don't who's gonna start? The way he, he ran from the Kenshana yo into you, yo into you, that, that, I don't know. <laughs> that was so good. I saw Wow grab the mic and I was like, it's gonna go down. Okay, Wow and, and Dong Hoon, they did BK sing too? I'm not sure, I can't really see him around there. <laughs> the music dropped out and it, just, it was just like dead silent for a second I 
별이 물겨 괜히 어지자는 말에 넌또 베이고 누구도 위한 근데 내 자신에게 먹게 돼내 먹게 돼 새벽에 정신 차리고 어지자는 말에 흔들리지 말고 누구도 위한 근데 내 자신에게 다짐해 그게 다짐해 I'm afraid. Like, who is this even for? It's it's for myself. Like, he's speaking to himself. Like, you can't. <laughs> okay. Like, you can't bring yourself down. You can't give up on yourself. <laughs> said happiness comes in little doses like if someone just asks you outright are you happy what 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 would your answer be and i remember i remember um hobie okay so we're talking about bts now i remember when hobie once said that he was having a conversation with Nam June and he I think he was talking about like I don't know if he was talking about his struggles or what because we we know Hobie as our sunshine or our ray of light but he he always says that he has a darker side to him even the guys who said pre-debut Hobie was like you would not have expected him to be the the happy one you know and he was saying that he was talking to Nam June around once and what really opened his eyes was that Namjoon asked him if he was happy I think something like that the question came up are you happy and he didn't know how to answer it I think and Namjoon told him that if are you happy in this moment are you happy right now then you're happy you know don't don't try and think of happiness as this overall state of being like happiness comes in in bursts and in small doses as Dong Hoon said and I've been trying to I've been trying to <laughs> adapt that for years because I've been in army for years and it's still super hard for me to say like if someone asks me if I'm happy like my first my first thought is to be pessimistic or negative and just be like, how could I be happy? You know, and just, you know, <laughs> reply in, in like such a manner. But in your moments that you're happy, you have to recognize that you're happy. You have to acknowledge that you're happy because the, the darker times, the, the darker times can be so so what's the word it can be so not overwhelming but they just seem to stand out more to you we tend to remember negative things quicker than positive things and then we start to only see the darkness like you were just laughing like two minutes ago but you're still thinking about like how sad you are or how you know how things are not going your way when you have to take stock you have to take time to allow yourself to feel the happy moments too like just like how we wallow it's like how we'll sit and wallow in sad sad times and dark feelings and just let yourself feel all those dark feelings we have to let ourselves 
wallow in the good feelings too we have to let ourselves sit in the good feelings and really absorb it and it and then feel it else in the end all we're going to remember the dark stuff anyway i went on a little rant i love that line that Donald said because it reminded me of that and Hovi said how much that really helped him become a more positive person and I've been working on that for years I'm not saying it's something easy I might be preachy about it but I do struggle with this as well and it's been years so yeah but I love that line Chan's voice is like crystal. Chan's voice could make me cry. I'm sorry. So it's star, but it's spelled with a five because it's five of them. Oh, that was so beautiful. I think I went on enough of a rant. And I think that one line that I picked out and I rambled on about pretty much explained like how I feel about this entire song. Like at one point, it's like speaking to someone else about, hey, you need like comforting you encouraging you but then on another part especially where wow was like who is he speaking to like he's speaking to himself so it could also be a message to yourself but it's also about telling someone that hey you comfort me too it's not just about comforting you it's about the comfort that you bring to me because you're my star and you you make things easier you make the days bearable and i'm i love that i i was i was you know i was getting a little emotional but you know we g's we are g's on this channel and we're fine we're fine so the next one will be don't let me down so i'm gonna find that okay so this is an outro i'm not sure what it's an outro to there aren't any lyrics but it's like barely two minutes long so I'm just gonna jump right in and see what's about okay this is a switch excuse me excuse me why 
Dilkon's always looking down on me with his chin up, like looking down the bridge of his nose at me. And I'm I'm flattered. Okay, I like that. Look down on me, King. Okay, sorry. What? I don't <sighs> And then Chan is with him with the green hair, like I, the way I thought it was wow. I saw the green hair and I thought it was wow, but it's just Chan. Your favorite boys Oh, oh, you came to what? You came to what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Wait, what? You came to what? I'm sorry, what? I'm pretty sure that's not what he said. That's not what he said. That's not what you said. Oh, you came to rock. I came to fuck. Oh, funk. Like, prong, 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 play that funk and me. Okay, funk. You came to funk. I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, the way he looking at me, you, you would have thought. The way he was looking at me, you would have thought. But nah, that's not what he said. That's not what he said. Your favorite boys are back. Are you ready? We came to rock. I came to fuck. We came to rock. Bet you ain't ready. We hey, English. I came to fuck. We came to fuck. I don't like that coming out of Chan's mouth. Young Kwan can say. Your favorite boys are back. Shut up, I'm not saying that. We came to rock. I came to fuck. We came to rock. Bet you ain't ready. We came to rock. I came to fuck. We came to rock. Bet you ain't ready. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, my body. Fuck, we came to rock, bet you ain't ready. Hit him with the bass, start a big band. Punching the niche in the weed, heavy metal drop like a big train. Take a microphone, jump and go, get me, go, get it, go, go, break it. Oh, I like the animation of his hair and then it. Oh, I'm done quiet. Sorry, wait. I got the sillies. I gotta get the sillies out. Wait, I went back too far. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Like seriously, marry me already. Oh, he's still going. Oh, look at his arms. Oh, God. Look at his arms. Look at his arms. Seriously, marry me already. Kim Byung Kwan, I know you don't want to get married, sweetie. Neither, neither do I. Honestly, neither do I. But in the world that we live in, marriage is just convenient you know like for stuff like health insurance you know buying houses owning property it just makes sense to get married so bestie we don't we don't gotta be romantic it's fine we don't gotta be together but just for the sake of the economy i think we should get married so that we we can you know you know, you know, it'll be like two best friends who got married and decided to live their lives together because it's more convenient. Yeah, that's my excuse. That's that's the reason. Um, and you know what happens happens. You know, if if eventually we fall in love or whatever, it's like rom com material, but it's just that you need to marry me already. That's that's all. That's all I'm saying. God. Is this gonna be all Byungkwan? Byungkwan is it's just Byungkwan and Chan. God, how how am I gonna survive this? How am I survive? Okay, okay, okay we're fine. We're fine. Did you see his arm? Nasty. That was that was disgusting. Like a big train, take a microphone, jump, go, get it, 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 go, get
My brain is being tickled. <laughs> Literally, my brain. I love him so much. Sorry. Sorry. It's like he's teasing me. It's like he's teasing me. I can't get past this part. That's not Baby Chan, please, I can't hurt. Oh, God, yes. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Animating Chan be fine. I'm just saying. Oh, no. Get out my face. Get out my face. Unless you come with the marriage papers, please, sir, get out my face. Look, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. 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 Ooh, that, that. That great trans voice there. Here. Get it in my chan. See, it's not funny when you do it. It's not funny when you do it. Chan can do it. You can. Now we go now. You're grabbing the camera Don't thing. Let me down, let me down. video what is happening this is a two minute long video i can't move on i can't move on i'm stuck here what is this <laughs> look sir <coughs> i choked <coughs> bro on um I already, I already, I already gave my speech. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I know that was that was Chan's hand. You can't. Feel it. That was Chan's hand. I'm okay. I'm okay. You better strut, Chan. You better strut. Where are they going? Outside. Okay, bye. <coughs> I 
And I tell you, I almost died. I literally choked on my saliva because of Kim Byung Kwan. And I think that it's grounds to, you know, sue. I think it's grounds for some sort of lawsuit. So it's either it's either you come with the marriage papers or you'll be hearing from my lawyer with other papers. Sir. Okay. Um moving on to the next one. I don't know what order this order is so messed up. I think that the outro should have been the last thing I reacted to, but alas I did not know it was gonna be like that. You know, I did not know that the thirst monster was gonna appear. I did not know it was going to be Byung Kwan and Chan alone. So, um, first love, let's go. The video does not have any lyrics, so I'm going to do the lyric video first. And then I see all of them here. I'm not sure if all of them will be singing, though, because I know it's featuring Jun Dong Hoon and Chan, I think. Why is Chan biting his lip? The world may never know. But let's go. <laughs> Okay, piano. Oh, this comes this sounds like it could be a Christmas song. It's the echoey um, effect on his voice. I think that make it, that's making it sound live. Unless maybe this is a live recording that they used. I'm not sure. Look, the strings are getting to me. Stop putting strings into your songs so I can maintain my sanity. I wonder if maybe they had sung it live all together, but the original song is just the three of them. I'm wondering, because I don't think all of them are going to be in the MV. It sounds like an OST. <laughs> Yeah. 
Must be an OST for some. The song is so beautiful, and their voices on it. That Dong Hoon and Chan combo there near the end. Oh my God! I think Chan has my favorite voice um, in Ace. But when him and Dong Hoon come together, that was a whole nother world. That was oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna find the video. Please, they look so good. They look so handsome and light and just soft. Okay, so it's Hong Chang Wu first love featuring Jun Dong Hoon and Chan of Ace. I don't know this person here, so I'm assuming like the parts that I saw Wow and Byung Kwan take were probably his parts i'm not sure but let's go it looks so good okay project for a story <clears throat> yeah. i can't i can't handle dong hoon's pouty pretty lips and his his eyes i I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. definitely like maybe a live <clears throat> live performance or something because it sounds a lot crisper like clear the echo isn't really there Oh, yeah. 
So they didn't, they didn't do the harmony in the song Chan, Donghu, Hello Look, actor Joon, why is he making me feel things? Like, I feel I need to stop looking at each of them when they're singing because I feel like Joon's talking to me and my delusional self can't handle that. Can't handle that. I will plan our wedding. So. And I wanted to say too, but I like, I didn't have the heart to stop him. Dong Hoon going from like here to here to here to here, like back and forth while he's singing. Like you can hear when he switches into like his, <clears throat> is it called a head voice? And he's back and forth with it, like line after line. And like how he flips so effortlessly is, is actually insane. Junit's in love with me and I'm convinced. I'm convinced. He convinced me. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Junit's in love with me. He said it right here with his face. He said it right there with his face. So all that's left is for him to contact me. DMs are open. My Twitter is down below. June. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. I love you too. So you can confess. You don't have to hold these feelings inside. There's no mystery. Okay? The feelings are mutual. So just let me know. Because I don't have your contacts. But you, you, you can find me. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just let me know. Just let me know. But all jokes aside, that was so beautiful. Oh my god. I really should have put um, Don't Let Me Down at the end. Because the intensity of first love and freaking star well i guess it was a good little palette cleanser in between but i really loved those and i'm going to continue with my ace journey of course because i love these boys so much thank god i found them they are amazing vocalists they're not just amazing performers but they're amazing vocalists on top of that because the the lyrics for first love sound like the audio was taken from a live performance with all five of them and it was beautiful especially i really wanted to hear the studio version of chan and dong hoon hitting that note but it doesn't exist apparently if it does exist someone please send it to me on twitter but, oh my god, that was beautiful. Their voices are beautiful. I really do think Chan, Chan's voice is like crystal to me. It's clear, it's sparkly, it's, it's 
sharp and to the much how do I say it? it's very it's very I don't know how to explain it but I, I love his voice his voice is just very clear and on point and just sparkly I don't know how to explain it I feel like Chan my baby Chan oh god his voice okay I loved all of them their voices June is in love with me he needs to his acting on top of his vocals in first love has my delusional self planning our wedding so I don't know what to say about that I don't know what to say about that um I'm just gonna go now Thank you guys for watching this with me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.